In today's lecture, we will see solved question in IEEE 802.11. Let's directly dive into the question. Here is the question. For the IEEE 802.11 MAC protocol for wireless communication, which of the following statements is or are true? And the statements are given. Statement 1. At least three overlapping channels are available for transmissions. Statement number 2. The RTS-CTS mechanism is used for collision detection. And statement number 3, unicast frames are acknowledged. I request you to pause this video for a while and think of the answer. Whether one statement is true or two statements are true or all the statements are true. And this question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2016. Let's see the options now. Option A, all 1, 2 and 3 are true because in the question we are required to find what are the true statements. Option B, 1 and 3 only. Option C, 2 and 3 only. And option D, 2 only. Let's analyze this now. At least 3 non-overlapping channels are available for transmissions. This is true because in the topic IEEE 802.11 Wi-Fi, I mentioned that IEEE 802.11 uses 5 gigabit radio frequency which has 23 overlapping channels rather than 2.4 gigahertz frequency bandwidth which has only 3 non-overlapping channels. So statement 1 is true because at least 3 non-overlapping channels are available for transmission in IEEE 802.11. Let's analyze statement number 2. The RTS-CTS mechanism is used for collision detection. Statement 2 is obviously wrong because the RTS and CTS are the mechanisms available in the MACA algorithm which is for collision avoidance, not for collision detection. Ethernet uses CSMA CD that is carrier sense multiple access with collision detection whereas Wi-Fi uses CSMA CA which is carrier sense multiple access with collision avoidance. So RTS CTS mechanism is actually used for collision avoidance but here it is mentioned as collision detection. So statement 2 is false. Let's now analyze statement 3, unicast frames are acknowledged. Let's assume there are two stations, S1 and S2. Let's say S1 is sending an RTS to S2 and S2 is replying with the CTS. After this exchange, the data transmission will take place. After data is received by station 2, it normally sends acknowledgement. As station 2 sends an acknowledgement to a single recipient on a network, we can say, Unicast frames are acknowledged. So statement 3 is true. So if we observe statement 1 and 3 are true. Statement 2 is not true. So 1 and 3 only is the right answer. So the right answer is option B. Before we conclude, let's see the homework question. The question is, which of the following statements is true about CSMA CD? Option A, IEEE 802.11 wireless LAN runs CSMA CD protocol. Option B, Ethernet is not based on CSMA CD protocol. Option C, CSMA CD is not suitable for a high propagation delay network like satellite network. And option D, there is no contention in a CSMA CD network. And this question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2005. I request you to post your answer in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the lecture and thank you for watching.